This tank is a WZ-132. This is a Chinese Tier 8 light tank. The map is Epic Normandy in the Frontline game mode. What's interesting about this video is that I am going to cap, cap D, E, and F. And obviously I'm, I'm sure that there's going to be allies there that are going to help me, but I want you to see how much work I put into the game. If my team is unwilling uh, to do what's required, I will do it. That's what it means to be a leader. You have to do whatever it takes to win the game, and that in this case means capping, and of course later on destroying the objectives. And I think we're actually going to lose this game. I seem to recall that I put so much work into capping, and my team was unable to uh, finish off the game. So you notice that I knocked this tree down the last time I was here, uh, and I use it so that it gives me a little bit of cover. Just get onto the cap enough um, to get that timer running. But because I was spotted, I want to reposition in case someone drops artillery in that position. So you got a Scorpion G showing up. I'm going to hide behind this solid object. Hope my allies take that Scorpion G out of the game. I'm going to be prepared to fight them. Looks like we're doing a good job. Got a minute and a half left. I do have the engineering skill, which is going to make it easier for me to cap uh, if I have to do so by myself. So, so far I have done 30% um, of the capping, almost went off the cap. I have a high ping time. It's over 300 milliseconds uh, because I'm playing on the North American server from the Philippines. You can see that my allies aren't trying to help cap at all. They're going all over the place. And... Uh, when you get hit by artillery, it blocks you for a couple of seconds, but I've got enough hit points, they're not going to take me out of the game. And you can see that they're dropping artillery in a place that I'm not located, so I must not be spotted. Um, so I only lost a couple of seconds. I'll be able to repair uh, after I'm done capping, so it's really going to be ineffective in the game. Uh, maybe some of my allies are going to show up. It looks like we got some guys somewhat heading towards the cap. Uh, we could have had this capped a lot faster, and it's better to cap, because if we had capped, all those enemy tanks that are in um, the territory would have had to leave. It would It's a big deal. You really want to cap. Not only are you capping, but you're causing a big problem for all of the enemy tanks that are within the territory. So obviously they haven't spotted me. Okay, it looks like I just got spotted. You know, the, what the Allies did was a dumb move. They should have all gotten on to the cap. The game would have gone a lot more smoothly. And it's like I said, I think we're going to lose this game because we didn't have competent playing. We've got seven minutes left. Let's see what we got to do. we got to cap B and C. I'm sure they're going to be able to cap B without me. I'm going to go in for my repairs, and then I'm probably going to try and make an effort to cap E. You want to drop those artillery strikes as soon as you can, because the last thing you want to do is die and, and then not have used it. Looks like I may have hit him. I'm not sure. It's not clear if I hit him. I'm going to advance the game a little bit. So it looks like I made the decision to drive south. Probably because I'm going to head towards B, but I'm really not sure at this point, uh, because obviously I played this game three weeks ago. But it's, it's weird, like, why would I be driving south? You know, I'm doing this, it sounds like a dumb thing to do, but it's really going to end up being the right thing to do, because my team doesn't understand the concept of winning the game by capping. They're not playing the right strategy. Okay, so we got cap B. We got that extra two minutes. Now we got to move on to cap E. So E is going to open up any second now. Well, it's going to open up in 30 seconds. So I might have to sit for a while. I hate sitting around and not doing anything. One of the reasons why I'm a good player is because I make decisions quickly and I act immediately. Okay, I remember that guy dying. <laughs> I, you, you want to make decisions immediately and you want to act immediately. I'm going to give you an example. There was a game played by Quickie Baby. It was on the highway map. It could have been about a year ago where you could see him kind of going back and forth, 
not for a long time. It wasn't like a 20 second delay, but he was spending five or six seconds driving, not sure what he was going to do. Maybe he put a message in chat and he said, oh, I'm going to tell my allies, uh, maybe we should head to the enemy cap. And he made it to the enemy cap and he didn't go directly to the cap. He had like a two or three second delay here or there and he failed to cap. By like two seconds and that's why it's important to make decisions immediately you can see that we've got six minutes left in the game and I'm maneuvering to try and head for that cap I haven't been spotted this is what it means to be a leader playing light tanks uh, will give you a lot of leadership roles in the game and you notice that I made it here without being spotted and I can cap in one minute and maybe I'll cap all by myself if my teammates were smart, they would rush the cap. We outnumber the enemy team, and they should be rushing that cap. And the enemy is failing, that T-44 is failing to act. He's running away from the cap. I'm trying to get into the Inspire Circle, uh, but I didn't do it. I almost got hit. So you can see that um, me and my ally are capping. I do have engineering. Uh, I did get within an Inspire Circle. And we now have a third tank that's on the cap. And the enemy has two tanks nearby which are failing to act. They did really essentially nothing. And I'm dropping smoke. Um, because that's part of playing the game. They must have flown a recon flight overhead, which is why, why I got spotted. And we captured E. So I participated in two base captures, and next I'm going to go for F, because I know it's necessary. And look at the timer. We still have seven minutes. When I was at D, we only had seven minutes left. We captured D. We only had seven minutes left. We got to E. We have less than seven minutes left, and we haven't destroyed any of the objectives, even though it's been available for two or three minutes or maybe even more. So we're not making wise decisions. I'm not happy with what my team is doing. I'm going to uh, fast forward and I'm going to show you how, I, how much effort I'm willing to go through to make sure that we advance in this game. It's very difficult. If you notice that I didn't take the middle crossover point to get to F because it's very confusing over there. And as soon as the artillery is available, I drop it on someone. Even if there's a chance it might not work, um, I make my decision. Oh, it looks like I did kill that tank in the artillery strike. So this is a better crossover point, but it's going to be a lot better defended. But it's easier to get through all the rocks and the, the gaps. I wasn't spotted. It, you know, if you go through that midpoint, they blocked some of the crossings. Uh, so it's difficult to cross over. And I'm going to head for that F cap, and I'm going to do whatever it takes. We've only got five minutes left in the game. And it's going to take at least a two-minute or a minute and a half to cap. So we got to do something. We have to act fast. And and I made it to general. Uh, I only have 1,800 damage, and I got 4,200 spotting damage. And you notice we haven't taken any of the objectives, even though it's been open for at least four or five minutes now. So I'm, I found a crossover point. I didn't go far to the south. I only went far enough that I'm outside of the spotting range of where the enemy is going to be. And I'm making a direct route for that F cap, which looks like was a smart move. Normally, I would go to where the ammo is to the lower area. And even though he hit me, I'm going to stay stick to my guns and head for that cap. Come up with a strategy. Lay smoke screens. Get behind buildings. Keep on moving. I was blocked for 12 seconds, which is really bad. You'll notice that the cap disappeared. I noticed that it happened in the game. And I was a little bit worried because I didn't want to go outside of the, uh, the cap circle. So now I've got a minute and I'm all by myself. I'm on the cap. Uh, will somebody join me? It looks like an Emil is making his way to the cap. We've only got three and a half minutes left in the game. Uh, luckily, someone took that tank out of the game. I'm repositioning to anticipate where the enemy is, and it looks like, okay, I was just going to say I wasn't spotted. They must have flown recon, and if they're going to fly recon, you know that artillery strikes are going to come shortly thereafter. So I'm going to keep on moving, and I'm going to reposition, but I'm not going to put myself in a position... Uh, that I might get artillery bombed with the Emil. You want to be far from the Emil. If the Emil is in a position where he could die, he's on low hit points. He's an easy target. And look at that, a successful cap. 
And we now have seven minutes left in the game. So we're back at that seven minute mark. We have not killed any of the objectives. And I thought, okay, look at what I've done. You know, I made it to general. I'm up to 5,700 assistance damage. I only have 1,800 damage. I did something really good for my team. But it's like I said, next thing I want to do is I, I am the leader. I'm going to go after those objectives. And I'm pretty sure we're going to fail to do it in this game. Uh, the team failed not because of good defense by the enemy, but because of lack of competence of our team, lack of knowledge of how to play the game and prioritizing. Uh, light tanks should have been all over this. I should have been surrounded by allied light tanks. Let's see, we got an LTTB, got two LTTBs on this flank. They should have, and look how close they are to the cap. I don't know how recently they... Um, you see that one of my allies is posting, keep sitting back, guys. It's a sure way to lose. We're, our team is really dropping the ball in this game. And look at me. I'm on the front lines right now making a move to try and uh, get to, to Objective 5, which isn't that well defended. Objective 5 seems like it's not well defended at all. And my allies just aren't. And I'm making the effort to go after these guys... It looks like he's not aimed at me. I, I, I knew he was going to get away. Because I know it wasn't easy playing in this game. The smart thing to do would have been to just do nothing and let the M41 get him. So now you can see that Objective 5 is lightly defended, but my allies are not going after Objective 5. And I was really disappointed that I knew where that tank was and he uh, became unspotted, so I wasn't able to drop anything against him. And I obviously fired by mistake. Up to 6,500 assistance damage. We have four minutes left, and we haven't destroyed any of the objectives. And it looks like my team is not doing enough to get to those objectives. They're spawned in the game. They're not doing enough. I, I believe that engineering is the most important for a player like me. And smokescreen and recon. Uh, I, I'm going to drop using artillery strikes... And I'm going to try to make effective use of smoke screens. It's very effective when you're capping, and you can get a lot of assistance damage from the smoke screen. Even though I haven't had that killer game, I'm prioritizing hitting uh, the objective, even though my gun's probably not strong enough to do so. And I don't like I don't like to use the APCR rounds. No penetration. That really sucks. And I'm risking dying. Even if I'm going to get one hit on that tank, I'm going to run away. We've only got three minutes left. My allies are not doing enough. You see that M41 Bulldog did not go after Objective 5. And so the enemy team is free to do whatever they want to stop me. My allies are not doing enough to go after that objective. They're all trying to stay far away and to snipe. And they're playing like, um, like uh, putty cats. And even though I need repairs, I'm still in the game. There's only three minutes left. I believe what happened was there were three minutes left, and I said, don't be stupid, uh, F the repairs. I try to go for that objective. Sometimes I'll do that. Two and a half minutes left, we finally got an objective. This was really sloppy play style. I handed my team a victory, and they did nothing. I'm up to 6,500 assistance damage and 2,400 damage. I got general. Um, we've only got one objective. Two minutes remaining. With two minutes remaining, you really got to be at the objectives. And I sit and I scream at my allies. I didn't do it in this game because I know it's a waste of time. Like I, I say, rush to OBJs now, and people still don't do it. There should be a rush of people at the objectives. I went af after Objective 4 because the enemy cannot snipe you when you go to Objective 4. They got to be there in order to hit you. You see that guy's right in front of me. He's not even uh, aimed at me. In order for the, to defend Objective 4, the enemy has to physically be there. I'm probably using the standard rounds uh, because I don't like to use the APCR. We're not going to win this game. If I can be here, why can't my allies be there? What is it? Why are my allies so incompetent that they're unable to be here to get hits on these objectives? What are they doing? 
they're they're near the objectives but they're not fighting the objectives and look at that you know we've got 20 seconds left in the game we've got 15 seconds i'm pretty sure like i said and look at objective five look at it needs one more hit oh it looks like we won with five seconds left so i guess i was wrong Okay, so I did 2,700 damage, 7,000 assistance damage. I made general, and we killed three objectives. Uh, so that was the game. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.